What's up everybody, Kidon Karimi here, and today I'm going to be doing a preview for Abitron. Keep in mind that this title is still in early access, which means it's not completely finished yet. Coming at you from KeenGamer.com, the best place to check out your news, reviews, articles, and so much more. Now, let's get to the preview, shall we? Let's talk about the story of the game. Unfortunately, there is no story in the early access version of the game, but in the full release, they're planning on adding a campaign story mode, which should be really exciting. Moving on to gameplay. Abitron is a strategy game that requires the player to destroy the other player's mana spheres. The thing that makes Abitron so special is that you can play the game from a strategic standpoint, third person standpoint, or first person standpoint. In order to destroy the enemy's mana sphere, you'll need to do two things. You will have to create units from specific buildings that have special units in them, and kill critters to gain experience to unlock new abilities and become stronger. Each unit has their own special abilities, just like in a MOBA. You will have two skills one that does good damage, and one ultimate, which does massive amounts of damage. Once you've done all of this, you're ready to attack the enemy's mana sphere. This turns into a huge chaotic battle that will have lots of enemies on the screen at once and turns into an epic showdown. It should look a little something like this towards the end of your game. There is also a multiplayer component to Abitron, but unfortunately I wasn't able to find anyone to play with. There are such modes as Free For All, Co-op vs AI, and Team Deathmatch. I'm sure in the future when the game fully releases, it will be filled with players ready to go at any time. Moving on to graphics. This game looks pretty good for the most part. Though you're only really allowed to play on this one map, the colors are very vibrant and feel unique, especially when there's a huge fight going on. There's so much to look at and it's actually awesome. I hope to see more variety in maps in the full release that will really test the game's graphics. It would be really awesome to add a snow map too. Pretty please developers, pretty please. Snow maps always look good. Last but not least, I want to talk about the sound. It feels very impactful and I really like the fact that I felt like I was in an actual war. With so much chaos happening, there's so much to appreciate when there's so much going on. In conclusion, Avatron is a fun action strategy game that stands out among other games of this genre. What I liked about this game is the fact that you can switch between a strategic standpoint to third person and to first person. This concept made the game unique and tons of fun to play because I really enjoyed playing in the first person. I also enjoyed having as many units as I wanted to thus being able to throw as much as 30 units at the enemy base at the same time. It felt really empowering and chaotic. The only bad thing I would have to say is that the game costs $19.99 in its current early access state which is unfortunate because you're really going to get about 2 hours worth of fun here and that could be increased if you're able to play with friends or find people online. Other than that, I would recommend this game to people who enjoy such titles as League of Legends or Warcraft. My name is Keon Karami, coming at you from KeenGamer.com, the best place to check out your news, reviews, articles, and so much more. Don't forget to check out our Keen Shop where we have a lot of discounts on a lot of AAA titles and indie games. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys next time.